Welcome. Today we will show you how to view your plate stress contours in the post processor for a model that has already been analyzed in STAD Pro. To review your plate stress contours, proceed to the workflow panel and select the post processing option. Once in the post processor, let's go ahead and select the plate results. Upon selecting this option, the diagrams dialog will appear on your screen which will allow you to select a particular load case or load combination along with a stress type. Let's go ahead and for this example, select the max absolute option. Once we do that, let's go ahead and click OK, and we will be able to see our maximum absolute stresses for all of the finite elements in your model. Now let's say, for example, that I want to just review the wall towards the right-hand side of my structure. To do that, let's go ahead and select these elements, go to the View tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, and select the New View option. Here I'm going to create a new window for the view and click OK. In addition to that, let's go back to that Plate Results option and select the Plate Stresses. Now here I'm going to find an option to re-index for new view. This basically means that the legend that will appear in the new view will be specific for the plates that were selected and not contain the full range of all the stresses for the entire model. I can also choose to contour based on the visible entities only. So let's go ahead and click OK. Now you can see within this new view, I can see a stress contours with a legend that are specific to the wall that is selected. If I find myself working on this wall frequently, I can save this view by clicking on the View tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, go to View Management, and then click Save View. We can name our view and then go ahead and click OK. Now let's say, for example, that in addition to having this new view and being able to see these stresses on screen, maybe perhaps I also want to limit what I see in the tables over at the right-hand side to the entities that are within this view. To do that, let's go ahead and select the Results tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Select Load Case icon. In the Results Setup dialog, if I select the Range tab, I can choose to view the entities in just a specific view, and that will apply to all of the information that's visible in the tables within the data area. Let's go ahead and click OK, and then we'll be able to see a truncated list of entities or plates within the data tables in the post processor based on the view that I currently have selected. At this point, hopefully you've learned how to view your plate stress contours in the post processor for both your entire model and for a specific area within your model in STAD Pro. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.